Sometimes also we can become addicted to pray for mercy when mercy already came before we pray for mercy. And we still pray for more mercy. But the question is, what are you doing with the mercy? Because mercy keeps going, flowing. And you still like, give me more, give me mercy, give me more. Krishna's like, I'm sending you tons of mercy. And you keep asking me more. What are you doing with the mercy I'm sending you? Uh, it's not only about begging for mercy, but it's about knowing what to do with the mercy, how to honor mercy, how to make our heart in Sanskrit. This is called Kripa Patra. Kripa Patra means like a vessel. No? A vessel? So Kripa Patra means a mercy vessel. Like a, our heart has to be a proper vessel to host the mercy. Because it, Srila Gaur Govinda Marshall says, if the vessel is cracked with holes, it can be filled with mercy. But after a few minutes, it's like, mercy, mercy, mercy. Then it's filled again. Ah, mercy. Oh, give me more mercy. No. Fill the vessel. <laughs> so, so again, once we, we understand Bhagavan is already giving, giving, giving himself to me fully, that's his willingness, his disposition, full unconditional love and acceptance, not, the only question is how to serve. The word kinkara, Mahaprabhu says in Sikshastakam, ayi nanda tanuya kinkaram. Kinkaram translates as servant. But it's interesting if you go to the etymology of the word, kinkara means kim kara, kim karomi. Kim means what? And kara means to do. So kinkara means what can I do? Or basically how can I serve? And that's translated as servant. So to be a servant means a servant will have only one question in mind, which is how can I serve you? Because the servant already knows so much had, had been coming, so much love I have received. I don't dare to ask for more. I mean, now I'm trying to reciprocate in kind. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is kind of the essence of what prayer is about only. Also, 